Good evening, everyone at the conference. I'm sorry I can't be there in Spain with you. I wish I could. My travel schedule, unfortunately, is too hectic for that. Uh, my name is Lee Wallace. I'm talking to you from Cape Town. I'm Professor of Emergency Medicine at the University of Cape Town. And until recently, I was the president of the International Federation for Emergency Medicine. Through that um, role, I've been very fortunate to work with Dr. Terry Reynolds, who runs emergency care for the World Health Organization out of Geneva for a few years now and uh, I've been um, helping on behalf of the International Federation to consult with the development of a toolkit for emergency care development in countries. The reason I'm talking to you tonight, I was in Geneva last uh, month when the World Health Assembly took place. That's the body that gives the World Health Organization its mandate. It gives it its program of work for the next few years. It comprises all the member states, so Spain was there, from uh, represented by ministry level uh, delegation. And at the World Health Assembly, in addition to all of the board matters that are debated, resolutions are presented. A resolution will highlight what a problem is for most countries in the world, and it will urge the countries uh, to do certain activities. Uh, remarkably, we had a resolution on emergency care passed, which was proposed by Eswatini, but supported by all the member states of the European Union. So thank you to the ministry in Spain for helping to make that happen. 22 countries spoke in favour of it and spoke very passionately about the gap and the need for emergency care all around the world. It was very moving and uh, the resolution was unanimously passed. So we now have a very powerful advocacy tool and I will share it with your leadership for the society by email today. It's an advocacy tool that you can take to your ministry. It's very helpful in terms of motivating the need for a specialty of emergency medicine, for dedicated emergency departments, for a well-resourced uh, EMS system, for uh, really um, granular things like a triage system uh, that's consistent across your emergency departments, a national telephone number to phone in the event of an emergency, and many other things. WHO is bringing out a lot of products to help. I'm sure you have your own um, well-developed expert uh, input uh, products in Spain as well, but look out for products coming from WHO. You can look at the WHO's emergency care website. It's very easy to find on Google, and you'll find lots of uh, continuously updated information on there. I would urge you to read the resolution take it in, contact me if you need more information or want to ask questions. It's a really landmark step in emergency care all around the world and I'm very excited to share it with you. And again, I'm sorry I can't be with you in Spain and good luck with your conference.